In this video, we are going to learn about agripreneurship. Agriculture is the backbone of the Indian economy. The performance of Indian economy depends a lot on the performance of agriculture and its allied sector. Agriculture provides raw materials to various industries of national importance like sugar industry, jute industry, cotton textile industry, edible oil industry etc. If we also include the contributions from various agribusinesses, the percentage contribution of agriculture and its allied sector including various agribusinesses would be even much higher. In export earnings also the contribution of agriculture and agribusiness products is outstanding. India ranks second worldwide in the farm output, and is one of the largest producers of crops like food grains, sugar cane, fruits, vegetables, spices, tea, cotton, jute etc. Developing entrepreneurs in agriculture will solve the entire problem. A. Trim down the burden of agriculture. B. Create employment opportunities for rural youth. C. Control migration from rural to urban areas. D. Increase national income. E. Sustain industrial development in rural areas. F. Cut down the pressure on urban cities etc. What is agripreneurship? Agripreneurship is a sustainable, community-orientated, directly marketed agriculture produce and services. By sustainable agriculture we mean a holistic, systems-oriented approach to farming that is focused on the interrelationships of social, economic and environmental processes for delivering the agricultural produce. Agripreneurship is synonym with entrepreneurship in the field of agriculture and refers to the establishment of agribusiness units in the agriculture and allied sector. Types of Enterprises Different Types of Ventures in Agribusiness 1. Farm Level Producers at the individual family point, every family is to be treated as venture, to enhance the production by making best use of the technology, possessions and demand in the market. 2. Service providers, for optimizing agriculture by every family business, there are diverse types of services requisite at the village level. These include the input borrowing and distribution, hiring of equipment like tractors, sprayers, seed drills, threshers, Harvesters, dryers, and scientific services such as setting up of irrigation amenities, weed curb, plant security, yielding, threshing, conveyance, warehouse, etc. Related opportunities exist in the livestock husbandry sector for providing breeding, immunization, disease diagnostic and treatment services, apart from allocation of cattle feed, mineral combination, forage grains, etc. 3. Input Producers, there are many flourishing enterprises, which need critical inputs. A few such inputs which can be produced by the home entrepreneurs at the village level are biopesticides, soil amendments, biofertilizers, vermicompost, plants of diverse species of vegetables, fruits, ornamentals, root media for raising plants in pots, production of cattle feed concentrate, agricultural tools, irrigation accessories mineral mixture and complete feed. There are good openings to support, fishery, sericulture and poultry as well, during sponsorship of critical service amenities in rural areas. 4. Processing and marketing of farm produce, well-organized management of post-production processes requires higher level of knowledge as well as investment. Such venture can be handled by people's organizations, either in the form of cooperatives, service joint stock companies or societies. The most successful instances are the dairy cooperatives sugar cooperatives, and fruit growers cooperatives in lots of states. However, the success of such undertaking is exclusively dependent on the reliability and ability of the leaders involved. Such undertaking needs good specialized support for running the activities as a competitive trade and to contend well with other players in the market, mainly the retail traders and intermediates. Based on the escalating needs, agroclimatic conditions, and available resources, agripreneurs have many commodities options to choose from and can also provide jobs to agriculture graduates who are looking for the jobs for the following reasons. 1. The organic and quality food market is expected to grow 15 to 25% per year. 2. 
low-cost production methods offer competitive advantages for many primary production activities such as rain-fed farming, tropical fruits and vegetables, livestock, animal husbandry, aquaculture, etc. 3. Easy access to funding as private players are now willing to invest in agribusiness at all levels of operations like Reliance, Bharati, etc. 4. Agricultural and horticultural products are locally available. 5. The agricultural small-scale industries do not require huge infrastructure and complex scientific technologies. 6. The agricultural small-scale industries are economically viable and ecologically sustainable too. 7. Agripreneurship development has huge potential of creating new employment opportunities for rural youth. 8. Agripreneurship also, helps in checking migration of rural youth from villages to urban centers and helps in improving living condition of farmers by providing alternative source of income. Many government and non-government agencies are supporting agripreneurship development. 9. The Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India has launched a program for setting up agri-clinic or agri-business centre to offer paid professional services for enhancement of agricultural production and income of farmers. 10. Small Farmers Agribusiness Consortium, SFAC, New Delhi, imparting free start-up training to graduates in agriculture or any subject allied to agriculture. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABARD, extending financial assistance through banks for setting up agribusiness centers. Agribusiness Centers Scheme Training Program The National Institute of Agricultural Extension Management, MANAGE, Hyderabad is implementing the scheme of agri-clinics and agribusiness centers initiated by the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India. The scheme aims at supplementing existing extension network to accelerate process of technology transfer in agriculture and strengthening input supply and services. Agri-graduates and post-graduates Diploma holders in agriculture and allied fields can set up their agri-clinics and agri-business centers and offer professional-slash-consultancy extension services to farmers. The scheme enumerates availability of better methods of farming to farmers and better opportunities for self-employment to the agricultural graduates. As an integral part of the scheme, specialized training is provided free of cost to the eligible agricultural graduates. The course comprises of various aspects of entrepreneurship and business management. Center for Entrepreneurship Development, said. Hyderabad is one of the recognized nodal training institutes to provide two months training program. Institutional Support for Agribusiness RBI started in July 1982 Nabard to give full attention to the rural sector in areas of agriculture, small scale and cottage industries and agro based industries. Since its formation Nabard hold the responsibility of managing all the activates of the RBI pertaining to rural development and agro based activities. Panchayat Mandi, Agri Mandi. The concept of self governance has gone to the level of marketing of village produce through village markets and fairs. The concept of Panchayat Mandi is to reduce the influence of middlemen and traders. This is possible only if functioning of the Zilai Panchayat is effective in coordination with state marketing boards and APMC, Agriculture Produce Market Committee. State Agricultural Marketing Banks, SAMB. State agricultural marketing banks are set up to actively regulate markets for food crops and oil seed in bigger markets of towns and cities. Gosam, the National Council for State Marketing Board, an agro-based country like India needs training centers with modern facilities throughout the country. The Government of India provides grants and aid to state to set up such training facilities. Gosam is the body to coordinate the programs of such training. State Trading Corporation STC, the State Trading Corporation of India LTD is premier international trading house owned by the Government of India having been set up in 1956, the corporation has developed vast expertise in handling bulk international trade International trade. Agripreneurship Opportunities Most of the agripreneurial opportunities are at input stage, farming stage, value chain, output processing, marketing stage and related services. With government incentive and financial assistance the scope and potential of agripreneurial opportunities is increasing. 
there are very promising opportunities for agripreneurial process in the areas like biopesticides, biofertilizers, vermicomposting, testing and amending soil etc. The increasing focus on organic farming has opened many opportunities. In seed development and production there is a lot of scope for research and development. The gradual shift in the usage of natural manure and pesticides offers tremendous opportunities for production and marketing of biopesticides, eco-friendly agrochemicals, and natural manures. There is an opportunity to find innovative methods for balancing the use of fertilizers and pesticides, agrochemicals, adopting multiple cropping and crop rotation to protect and preserves and enhance the quality of soil using the agri-tech machines to reduce the cost of cultivation and drudgery of labor etc. Post-harvest opportunities in the areas of value chain, output processing and marketing. The realignment of agricultural supply chain management offers new business models. There are opportunities in the area of distribution and logistics. In the areas of farming vegetables, fruits, food grains, pulses, oil seeds etc developing greenhouse concept, dairy and poultry development, animal husbandry, herbal plantation, packaging of agri-products, establishing food processing units and cold storages, sericulture, horticulture and many more there are tremendous opportunities in agripreneurship development. Role of agripreneurship in national economy Agripreneurship plays various roles in the growth and development of national economy through entrepreneurship development which increases the income level and employment opportunities in rural as well as urban areas. Agripreneurship also play following role in the economic system, it helps in inducing productivity gains by smallholder farmers and integrating them into local, national and international markets. It helps in reducing food costs, supply uncertainties, and improving the diets of the rural and urban poor in the country. It also generating growth, increasing and diversifying income, and providing entrepreneurial opportunities in both rural and urban areas.